So today I'm going to be disassembling one of my electric organs. It's uh, from about the 1970s or 60s, can't remember. It's a Wurlitzer. That's how you turn it on. You have a variable, uh, a whole slew of different controls. You can see all the switches are hooked together. Whatever. We have uh, pedals done here. Let's turn it off. Back here, the power goes into this mechanism right here. This is the main amplification and supply power board. And then I believe this is the oscill oscill uh, I said oscilloscope. The oscillator board. The keyboard sends a signal to this board and it produces the proper tones for each note, uh, corresponding to each note. And then it's fed back into this board where it's amplified using these transistors from Texas Instruments. And it's fed into the one of uh, into the uh, three speakers. Finally, got all the screws off this, the, this chain of lights. And uh, huh. a lot of nice little light bulbs in them. I'm sure I could probably find a use for them somehow. A nice little compact unit. I'm surprised at all everything all plugged in. Usually you have to cut cables. Nice little connectors too. the oscillator boards it came out quite nicely I had nicely colored cables too with connectors those will come really in handy I thought it was how it's kind of mundane but still I love the colorized cables Well, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that, all, that whole thing would come out. 
I got this part all disconnected now. There's an in-control thing, or the uh, power switch with the World Outsider logo. That'd be cool to keep. <clears throat> it's hinged. Weird. Now, I would call that a gutted electric organ. It's basically just wood now. It's been a lot of fun. So far, this is my fifth electric organ I've ever taken apart. <clears throat> They're a great source of vintage parts, especially transistors. Well, I think that's pretty much it.